Yeah, delicious. I have to get more of you. Hey, welcome back to the Let's Play. This is Dallas here, back at home, because we are working here today. As strange as it sounds, I drank an old coffee I used to drink. Well, specifically a creamer, hazelnut creamer. And it always brings me back to my house and my lab. Does that ever happen to you guys? A specific smell or taste brings you back to something? Well, anyway, it brought me back here, so I want to work around home. And I've already got some good ideas I want to mess around with. But yes, it is good to be back. I am back from my vacation. If you didn't know, I went to Colorado where my brother lives and we did all kinds of crazy fun stuff. I went with my girlfriend. We went to an EDM show to start it off. Then we went snowboarding in the Rockies. Then we visited the Red Rocks and the town of Golden. And then we finally visited my favorite location, I think, and that is Dinosaur Ridge because I have never seen dinosaur bones in real life or dinosaur tracks. And I posted all of this on my Instagram, DallasMed65. So follow me there if you're not. I'd love to have you guys there. And I bought a Mosasaur tooth. 90 million years old. Mosasaurs are not dinosaurs technically. They are reptilian aquatic creatures that reached up to 60 feet long, but they shed their teeth a lot like sharks. So they're pretty common to find. Fun fact, I found one and I bought one. So it's just so cool. I'm a, got a huge nut for dinosaurs. So it's awesome to own a piece of a creature that lived almost 100 million years ago. But anyway, um, we're working right here. I have this insane idea. Well, not insane. As you can see, we started making it look like the pipes leak and they make the grass around here kind of turn this color. I want to expand on this idea. I want to finish this. I want to connect this to the house, finish this area all together, but really make this infected look really spread around here. I think it'll look really cool. Okay, since we have so much waxed copper now, I went through and replaced all of these with the waxed variants, so the orange pipes don't turn green in these areas, so it looks more consistent. And I covered the whole under section of this house with all this warped, this is warped, right? Yeah, warped material, and it looks so cool. So maybe over time, over the years, as I like to add age to the house, we can just continue growing this like infection from from these pipes. I guess my generator isn't so clean after all. And I really like this look. I kind of want to do more of it, but like I don't want to overdo it just yet. But uh, yeah, I just have it coming over here. I made a wagon, a small wagon. Well, I just made it look like I'm trying to get rid of this slowly by shoveling it up into this wagon. <laughs> I like small details like that. There's my bridge. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic, I know, but uh, I couldn't really think of another way to add it. This is the same exact bridge that's over here. Ooh, a lead, right here. Um, I like it, it's fine, it just adds a little skylight. I had to get rid of one of these, but now I have a way to get over here, which is nice. Ooh, that's still a big open gap, I don't like. But while we're in here, all that's in here is this Generator. This is like a generator for my house, if you didn't know. What's powering everything, and we have an extra generator underground that powers things down there. And these pipes lead up to my house because I make it look like that generator is more powerful and it helps power this one. Yada yada, I'm not that efficient. Let's add some stuff in here that looks like it belongs in here. Because it looks too empty. So I may or may not have been playing more Skyrim recently, and I actually want to design Okay, what? There's a box at my front door. I was gonna say, I want to design, if you've played the game Skyrim, Dwarven Ruins. That's similar to what we built under our house, but those are more like the ancient Nord ruins. What is this? Why'd you do? To Dallas. Dear Mr. Dr. Professor Dallas, we've been hard at work on the Colossal Project and we believe this prototype is a near finished example of what you imagined. Dr. Peptone and I are having issues routing ignition to your desired delay and we're hoping you can take a look at it. It is unarmed, but be careful around other explosive material. Dr. Browning. Ryan, why did you deliver this to my front door? Um, it'll be harmless, I think. Sweet Jesus! Oh my God. I don't like this sitting in front of my house. You guys weren't supposed to see this. I'm having issues with... That thing weighs a ton! Ah. Oh. Okay, yeah. We've been working on some new TNT prototypes. Uh, they said it should be safe to work on. I mean, as technology progresses, we need better TNT to, you know, to dig out larger areas. I believe I almost have this figured out. So, to ignite this thing, which we are not going to do because we're, it's in the middle of our house. I mean, I can't arm it, though, because that's the issue we're having. I need smaller TNT. That's what I've been storing in here. Don't judge me. 
Okay, I'm really getting into explosive material in Minecraft. So I figured out the delay problem, but it's, it's because these are not in it. You need to put the TNT inside of it. Oh, 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 oh my God. No, oh, oh, oh God. Oh, run, run. Oh. 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 Browning, can I have a word with you? My house! Oh my god! Ooh. Holy crap, I knew- Oh! So many pets are dead! Oh my gosh, my book! Oh, give me the book. What was this? Swift sneak? How do I even go about repairing this? Why is it so deep? Uh. Huh. Oh, it was a dream. Ryan? Ryan Browning? Why have we not invented cell phones yet? This is ridiculous. What is- I mean, actually, what is a cell phone? I don't even know- I'm talking crazy. What is a cell phone? Cancel it. The Colossal Project. Cancel that one. You have one that can freeze the world? Let me see it. There it is. I took it off of his hands. I mean, I run this world so I can do what I want. Yes, I got permission from the board. I'm I'm here on their request, actually. I don't need proof. I want to see how this thing works, though. Some type of negative thermal bomb. I wonder if... Now how you activate it. Cleanup is fine around here. We don't need any of this. Guess we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh-oh, where'd it go? What the... That's all? They've got a lot of cool ones in the works. This one's called- Ow! Um, as you can tell, Earthquake TNT. Oh god. Um, perhaps I shouldn't have done it here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Well, that's a bummer. I'll get the cleanup crew to fix this. Also got this new one called Trapped T- Wow, look at that! They're really get- Oh, ow! Oh. I get it. They play a little joke on me. That one, you, it's a proximity mine, like. Huh. It's funny. I'm laughing so hard. I hope they didn't use slime for this one. I'll have to talk to him about that. This one's a toxic one, so we might want to stand back a little bit. Uh-oh. Whoops! Ow! 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 Oh, that'll be useful for the piglins. Um, might need a new health lab now. Perhaps I should have been doing this in a place that wouldn't cause so much... Damage. Um, this is Ultra TNT. The little brother to the Colossal. Ow! Wow. I like that one. This one is interesting. This one's called the Shockwave. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. We don't need this structure anymore. This one's called the Rocket. Oh! Whoa. Thanks for all those. You're doing good work. You need to send out the cleanup crew. Psst, can I have another colossal? Just one more. Thanks, Ryan. You're the best doctor ever. I'll see you in a bit. We're testing out heist scenarios, so uh, this is worth it. This is definitely worth it. Ow! Whoa. Okay. Jeez, Louise. Beep 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 beep. You can put one there. Ah, one right there. Yeah, we can put one there. And right there. Right there, too. Also right there. Right there's a good spot. Here, too. Yeah! 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 Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah! Uh, ow. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, no, there's more going off? Uh-oh. Huh. My computer. I mean, my... Reality. Oh! Well, uh, this one's gonna be a little expensive. But alright, back to reality here. I've been doing most of that on my test world. I always keep a pretty modern copy of my world, just in case I want to go in and do tests like that. But, uh, yeah. These are add-ons, because add-ons are now available in the marketplace. 
more ways for Microsoft to make money from us, but it's whatever. <laughs> this game just kind of feels like it's run by greedy corporates now where they're more, they're focusing more on adding content to the game where you buy it and focusing less on the free updates. It just feels like that. And it really sucks, but that's just Microsoft. But yeah, these are all free. I downloaded three different free ones. Uh, they have a bunch of other add-ons that cost like money, of course. But I downloaded the TNT one, there's like a campers one, and I have a furniture one. Now before you think of anything, no, I'm not gonna be using these in my normal Let's Play. I like playing strictly vanilla Minecraft, um, but it doesn't mean I won't experiment with it sometimes. I like do a little spin, but oh my gosh, I would kill, why? <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't have done this because I'm just gonna complain, but why can't Minecraft just do something like this. It's like, it seems like the most simple thing in the world, but our only option is this, item frames. Do something like this, Minecraft, let me guess. I don't know how you put stuff on it, but I'm assuming you can. But they need to make something like this, where if you right click, maybe with your shovel, it'll be displayed on the shelf. Oh boy, maybe this was a bad idea. I'm gonna wish all this was in the game. A red lamp. Oh, that's a tall lamp. It actually gives off light. Oh, that's nice. I guarantee we'll never, ever see stuff added to Minecraft like this. Like, even though it would be super simple, we just won't, I don't know. I, I don't see anything happening like this, even though I want it so bad. You see, I'm different though. I prefer the vanilla experience. I'm not a mod person at all. And I think too many games these days are relying on just people to mod the game, such as like Starfield, for example. Oh, look at that. See, that's, okay, that doesn't really belong in this game. That looks too out of place. Okay, I'm excited to try these. These look so nice. Oh, look at that. Oh. Have a little bedside. Oh, look at that. Oh. Green curtains. Oh, ooh. Wait, I need an alarm clock. Okay, that's not, that is so cool. That's a freaking grandfather clock. Get out of here, get out of here. I'm not, okay, wow, look at that. Oh, it actually tells the in-game time. That is so cool, I think. Now, can you lower this? Oh! Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Doesn't that just feel like it needs to be in this game? Like, stuff like this. Oh, and you can, uh, oh my God. Maybe I'll have a playthrough with add-ons because that's just too cool. Why does it feel like modders are so much more creative than the actual game developers? <laughs> this is what people want in this game. I'm being honest, this is what people want. A shelf? There's a shelf in this game, so you don't have to do slabs. I Okay, so well, I understand this though. I don't think they'll ever add stuff like this because the idea of Minecraft is trying to be creative yourself. Use what you have to try to be creative. So when it comes to shelves like this, I see why they wouldn't add that because they'll be like, it loses the purpose of using trapdoors and slabs to create your own shelves. Why didn't I make my chair work here? What did I use down in my mob spawner way back in the city? What did I use? Was it a, no, boats are too big. I think I just used a minecart. Uh, okay. No box down there. No more nightmares. I see Bob. I actually did work on the engine room a little bit. I just kind of forgot to show it. I'll go over there in a second. Um, I just want to be able to sit here, you know? That's all I want. Ah, my thinking chair is actually useful now. <laughs> I know today's episode was a little strange, but I liked it. I like messing around with stuff like that every once in a while. Today's comment question is from Mario Gutierrez. 2965, probably butchered that name. How do you feel about starting a small side series in creative mode? Oh boy, the last side series I created that was in creative mode was way, way back in pocket edition days. And I actually enjoyed it. Thing about it though is, is the main thing that drives me in this world is the fact that it is survival. That there's this whole aspect behind building something, which is gathering the resources and trying to survive in the process. And it just gives me a certain level of satisfaction knowing that all this was built up through, well, quote unquote, hard work within the game of gathering the resources, crafting it, and putting it all together. And I think if I played a creative mode series, I would lose the drive so fast. Obviously I'd be able to build up a bunch of stuff, but I've felt like I've became so efficient within survival that it almost feels like creative because I've gotten good enough at the game where I can go out and get the materials, like almost feels like a snap of your fingers and then there you go. So I feel like I would get bored of a creative series very fast. 
Um, what I did in here, by the way, just added some shelves and a lot more piping going around. I just wanted it to look like, you know, you have to duck your head under some piping to get through here. Could even add some more. This isn't really as much as I want this place to look like. I added some up here too, a little contraption. Still didn't finish this part, good going. What are you guys looking at? Oh, Mario way down there. So I think the only other side series I do, which I actually am going to start soon again, is frequent hardcore series. And I've been missing it again, and I think maybe after episode 600, uh, we can start one up, just like a little fresh restart, you know? Maybe I can last really long this time. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, okay, got a lot of donos to thank, holy crap. Such as Michael Romero, I believe this is where I left off. If not, thank you, Trent. <laughs> thank you so much for that, Michael. You made it in the book, of course. And on the wall, wherever that wall is eventually going to be. You know what, I think, I said I was gonna create a new chapel, but I don't know, this is such a hard decision. Elliot Russell, once again, you donated, I think last episode, or the one before that. Thank you so much again, Elliot, that's very kind of you. And Dawson Schwenk. I hope I said your name right. Thank you for that. And Hunter Rigdon, that's an old donor. I remember you. Hunter? Oh, didn't I just put Hunter in jail? In the new prison? I think I did. <laughs> well, thank you, Hunter. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your stay over there. I stopped in here, if you didn't know, is because it's getting so frame ready. But, like I said, I don't have to continue making them glow signs. God, look at this. The amount of people. I have donated. It's just not. Oh my god, I still haven't replaced this book. Oh my god. Thank you, Hunter. And Ashley Stengel. That's a weird. That must be like. I feel like you need an E on the end. Stengel? Or it's just Stengel. You have to say it real fast. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> and what do you know? Ryan Browning with a hundred. Oh my god, Ryan. Thank you for covering all the damages that you caused. Yeah, you caused it because you're the project manager of the TNT Colossal Project. Yeah, I was dreaming the first round, but. That's why this video is so late. I wasn't on vacation. I was fixing all the damage I caused. I mean, you caused. But thank you so much, Ryan. That is unbelievable once again. You're an insane supporter of this channel. I'll see you all in the next episode, though. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.